Adam, over there. I see someone. What is he doing? Oh, it's Clyde. Well, I'll be damned. Didn't expect him to still be alive. There are some people who would prefer to wander instead of simply joining Zion. They always end up the same way. Well, mostly. That's... I already know what you're gonna say. If it would really make you feel better, you can try talking to him. Hey, you can't be out here like this. An Atiba might find you at any... <sighs> what? Why is that so important to you? Hey, can you hear me? Check the tool for manual data. It's not a weapon. Perhaps it's a tool. For gathering, perhaps. It's elastic, but not very strong. And so thin. I'd be surprised if it didn't break. That's a surprise. Are all angels so insistently talented at everything they do? You're surprised? 
that's hardly something I'd expect someone sitting in a place like this to say. After the colony extinction took everything away, fishing was really all I had left. Ruined streams in the city, underground reservoirs, barren shores. I wandered all over the place, my trusty fishing rod in tow. Frankly, I think I'd already given up by then. That's... Well, that was practically a lifetime ago. I've been here for a while now. Feast your eyes. Water's clear. Beautiful. The whole world's a dump. I can't think of a better place to spend one's time. Mother Spheres will be damned. <laughs> I used to curse everything in sight. But if it was her will that led me to this place, I think I can live with that. You... I see. You've got quite a story. Everybody's got a story, world being how it is. Same for you, right? Now, I'm not one to make assumptions about the future plans of an angel. But come and see me again, if fishing interests you. Anyway. Oh, hello, Angel. How are you? What kind of refinement work is this? I guess even things like this are considered a resource in Zion. What? A resource? This is a food source. I'm not sure I follow you. This isn't just some liquid or paste from a tube. It's a corpse. A corpse? My goodness. I simply can't believe what I'm hearing. Please call it cuisine. Hmm. Cuisine. Actually, your timing is perfect. Maybe you can help me out while you're here. Why do I get the feeling this won't be easy? <laughs> I promise it's not like that. I need things like this. Fish. Scavengers aren't interested in these things at all. Oh. I might know of a source. That's wonderful. Bring me someone you can. I'll reward you handsomely. I'll consider it. Welcome. Oh, it was you, Angel. My, one might say this is now a shop for VIPs. No, that's not so bad. Well, I must say, I'm very grateful. What do you think you're... <sighs> Sorry, I mean... Are you actually cooking? For what reason? Reason? Everything doesn't have to have a reason, you know. You had no reason to help me, but you did it anyway. Yes, you're right. Scraps, parts, energy, you name it. Everybody's fighting for scraps. Let's do this later. No, we don't need this now. This is just how things are. We've given up the finer things in life. If all we're living for is bare necessity, how are we any different from the machines? I'm just trying to hold on to the past. That's all. Well, it must be nice. I'm surprised. All this time I thought you were just a freak. <laughs> I must have some life in me after all, if I manage to surprise an angel. See you later, Barry. I hope your determination never dies. You got it. Take care, Angel. Sorry, but we're closed for the day. I'm in no mood to continue working. Okay, I'll be back. Angel, hold on just a minute. Huh? Aren't you curious why I don't want to work? You can ask. And why do I need to know? You're right. I guess it's not that interesting. But please, could you just uh, allow me to explain myself? I 
thought talking about it would make me feel better. Go ahead. On the night of the full moon, there will be a memorial service in honor of the fallen sentinels. The wine saved for the memorial service. It's all gone. Do you think it was stolen? No, no. I, I may have just had a sip or two every night. If I don't get more wine in time for the memorial service, the man might actually kill me. So, are you saying you want to have him killed first? No. Okay. You know about Patelos Plaza in 807? The old plaza that's flooded. If you could go there and bring me just three bottles of wine from the cellar, well, you would save my life, Angel. A life worth only three bottles of wine. I'll look for it on the way back. wine you can find. Let's take one of each. The three bottles Barry asked for should suffice. Hmm. It isn't just Barry who could use a drink, Eve. I brought the alcohol that you requested. Jacques Tournel, Navarronti, ah, oh, the perfect combination. Thank you, thank you so much, Angel. Thank you, Angel, I owe you my life. You must attend the memorial service when the full moon rises. Okay, send me an invitation. I need to go now. Hmm. It's been ages since I've tasted a wine of quality. Just, just a little taste. Angel, you've come at the perfect time. Perfect time? If you're having trouble with wine again, you will have to take care of it. Well, it is about wine, but it's not my fault. What do you mean it's not your fault? It seems nothing from the wine cellar could be used. It's as sour as vinegar. Is that so? It's a shame, but there's nothing left in the cellar. Yes, I wasn't going to ask you to go there again. I'm trying to make wine myself this time. I know I might not make it in time for the memorial service, but I'm going to try. I'm not sure if I follow. You're going to make that liquid yourself. Exactly. I heard some scavengers spotted grapes on the wasteland, and I think we can trust their story. I'll tell you the location, if you could collect the grapes for me. All right. Something you can make on your own. 
Interesting. This must be the place where they saw grapes. Grapes? I saw that in the database. Yeah? Are you sure? Because I don't think grapes can grow in this environment. Eve, look! Grapes! Just like the ones I saw in the database. Really? That's great. Grapes. Here, of all places. It just doesn't make sense. And besides, wines can't be made from any old grapes, you know? Okay, okay, Adam. Barry will do the rest if I deliver these. You're back! Yes. Here's what you asked for. So, there really were grapes. Uh, Angel, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? I did mention that it wasn't my fault, but... To be honest, I drank everything you brought back from the cellar. I didn't want to get in trouble, so I lied to you. I see. I'm not in the habit of lying. I couldn't stand the guilt. It won't happen again. Please forgive me. Well, at least you came clean. I'll let it slide. Just this once. Good luck with the memorial service. I'll try to stop by. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is she gone? Huh. I wonder what homemade wine tastes like. A sip won't hurt, right? I mean, what can we say about his music? It was so perfect for those opportunities when you needed the cheapest sounding music possible. <laughs> Tommy's music had more instruments than a middle school marching band that wasn't allowed to turn people away. <laughs> <laughs> those childbearing hips of his gave birth to such incredible music. <laughs>